Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Google Ads for Amazon sellers, driving traffic from Google Ads to make sales for your Amazon product, boost your organic rankings on Amazon, build a list, and more. First off, why would you want to use um, Google Ads? You have sponsored product ads, ads on Amazon. Why? Why use Google? Well, the fact of the matter is that um, you know. There's going to be a portion of people that want to buy your product that aren't searching for the product on Amazon right now, or um, maybe you're not showing up for those results on Amazon. And if they're starting their search on Google, you can get to them before they reach Amazon and show them the benefits of your product and get them to buy. So you can reach more customers and make more sales and build a list. So we're going to go in here, click new campaign. And I would recommend doing, choosing leads to optimize your campaign for, um, just because. The thing is, if you know, if you do well, one you can't do sales because um, you know you can't uh, track the sale on Amazon through Google, and website traffic. Um, you would want to use that if you're sending traffic straight from Google Ads to Amazon, um, but we'd recommend using a landing page in order to give out a coupon code, um, collect email address, and um, you know enable retargeting. For now, we're gonna use a landing page and optimize for leads. And there's a bunch of different options for the campaign type. I'd recommend search campaign. Um, that is when someone search for a keyword on Amazon. Um, you, know, you can experiment with display ads and, and video and, and whatnot, but um, you know, search is the good way to start. Here we want to do lead form submissions. Alright, so let's call this Amazon product test. Alright, so we're going to do the search network. Let's click off the display network. Again, this is, you know, these are ads, you know, banner ads that you'll see around the web once you go to a website. But, uh, you know, keep it simple, keep it to the search network. And we're just going to do United States you know, wherever you're selling, limit limit it to that country. Um, English usually the best option, um, unless you know you're you're in a different country or you're selling to you know a, a Spanish speaking audience. Whatever, uh, we're not going to do this audiences. Um, we're going to keep that. So we're gonna we're gonna make our targeting based on keywords and budget. You know, let's say this will depend on obviously your you know the the budget that you have to have to play with, but something like twenty dollars a day um, should be should be good. And we're going to focus on conversions when it comes to bidding. Um, let's say our target cost per acquisition, so that's target cost per lead. Um, you can set that. Let's say you know let's let's do some math here. So let's say that um, you're selling a twenty dollar profit. You're selling a twenty dollar product at 50% margin, so that's $10 profit. And let's say you're giving out a discount code of 15%, so you're selling it for 17 and you make $10 in profit. So actually you make $7 in profit. Um, and let's say you know the, the conversion rate on the landing page is 20%, so that means, you know, Every five people that come on the landing page will give you their email for the coupon code. And then let's say of those people, only a third buy. So that is, you know, so it's one in 15 people that come to the landing page, give the coupon code and buy. So then if you have selling $7 margin to play with, then your target cost per action, which is target cost per lead, would be seven dollars divided by three. So then your target cost per action would be two thirty three. If you didn't want to set the target cost per action, you can set a, um, a a bid strategy. So manual cost per click, and then you can and then you can set that set up those um, those bids for the keywords. Um, but if you want to do a target cost per action. Again, find out, you know, do some math, how much, how much profit you're making, and then, um, you know, what percentage of people that 
um, take that action. So in this case, a lead will will purchase. So we've decided that every three people, one in three people that take this action for a lead will purchase, and we make seven dollars per purchase. So seven dollars divided by three is two point three three. Now I'd recommend um, not doing the cost per acqui acquisition or cost per action. I'd recommend doing um, just manual bids on keywords, um, and you can do the same math. Except you would do, you know, um, per click how many clicks lead to a lead to a lead, and how many leads lead to a sale. Do that math. Find out what your break-even cost is per click, and that's what you want to bid for. Site link extensions. So here you can write what your price is. You can you can do um, big big benefits that people are going to get. So two-day free shipping. 15% uh, off, you know, whatever it is that you're offering um, using these site link extensions. And then same thing with call out extensions, you know, right? What, what makes your product different than all the other products in that category? Include stuff like that, um, the, the big benefits and the offer that you're given. Include that in the call out extensions.